Okay, in this video we're going to be installing the piston. And uh, here's the piston. This is one of those, uh, I think, Namur Namura or something like that. Uh, pistons. It was like uh, 30 bucks on sale. And uh, we got the rings, we got the, uh, the wrist pins, we got a new, or the wrist pin clips, the little clips. We got a new wrist pin with it. And I did buy a new needle bearing, did not come with that. Um, so here we go. First thing, on a two-stroke, it's a lot easier than a four-stroke. You know, four-stroke, you usually have three, four, you know, rings. You've only got one on uh, this particular bike. And where you put it at is really simple. I don't know if you can see. I need to really work on the autofocus on this camera. Um, there we go. See a little notch there? Well, it's like a little uh, pen. And that's where the gap in the ring goes. And to put the ring on, I mean, you don't want to stretch it on like you would a clip. But you just kind of slide it on, um, get it on one side, get it in the, the hole there, and then just kind of push it down. It goes down real easy. And to find that, you can just spin the ring around, and it will catch. There, it caught right there. And that's where you need to, to put that, um, the, the, the open end of the actual uh, ring. So that's done. Next thing would be to, we're going to put our bearing in. Go up here, our needle bearing. Here's the head. Top of the motor, I should say. We've got our needle bearing and our rod. And then the next thing, put the piston on. Now you notice there's a little arrow here. That goes towards the exhaust side. So we'll go ahead and, towards the front in this case, which every case, go ahead and put our pin in. And should probably put some oil on this. Just using motor oil, Lucas. Not a bunch of it, just enough to get it nice and looped up. Go ahead and get that slipped in on one side. And then we'll go ahead and slip it all the way through. Line it up here. Be a lot easier if I just looked. There we go. Instead of trying to guess. And we've got that in, and now we'll move on to the clips. And here are the clips. Retainer rings, whatever you want to call them. Get these gloves off. We'll go ahead and open these up with our teeth. Actually, I'm a little too slippery here. Go we'll get some scissors. I'll open these up. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got the the clips out of the package. One thing you want to do is stuff something in the motor because you do not want these clips to fall down in the head and you have to take, or in the case, and you have to take the entire motor completely apart. Also put it on these ports right here because those actually go down there as well. So we get that all, got everything covered up there and we can put our clips in. What I like to do is just get one side started. Actually, we'll zoom in a bit here. Tilt you up. Sorry, I should have been a little bit more prepared for this. And there. Hopefully you can see that. There. I like to put one side in, and then the other side, get a screwdriver, and you can just kind of push it in there. There you go. There's one end right there. On the other side, you just do the same thing. Make sure it's nice and seated, which this one is. There's a little groove that rides in there. Um, we can actually spin that around. I don't know that it actually matters, but I like to spin it around so the open end is, is inside of the actual, uh, not in this open area here. But I don't know that it actually matters. It, it may, it may not. I have not. Uh, really checked up on that. So we'll get that spun around. We'll go ahead and put the other clip on and then uh, we'll show you how to put the head on. So stay tuned. All right, continuing on with the head here. First thing you wanna do is put a new gasket on. Definitely want a new one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put a little motor oil on the inside of the cylinder. 
And you also want to blow out the cylinder real good. Uh, make sure there's nothing left over from any work you've done or the previous guy that had it. Don't need a lot of oil, just enough to, to make everything smooth. We'll also put some on the, the piston here. And make sure your piston ring is where it needs to be, Ooh, which is in that area. And you want to squeeze that, and at the same time, you're going to have to slide your head on, which with the camera is going to be a little difficult. There we go. I've got the right position now. So I'm squeezing the rings. I'm just slowly, you don't want to force anything in there. It should just, there we go. Once it gets to the right area, it should just kind of slide in. Go ahead and push it all the way on. There we go. There. Now we're in there. And you can turn your sprocket if you'd like to check and make sure it's smooth. And that's it. Go ahead and put your bolts on, your washers, your bolts, tighten them up in a like a star pattern, uh, torque them down, and then uh, we'll put the head on too. So we'll go ahead and get these, uh, these bolts on, we'll get those torqued down, and then we'll move on to the, the head. We might as well do all that in this one video instead of taking up a bunch of videos. So We'll be right back. Once I get these tightened down, we'll put that on and uh, we'll be about set for this video. So stay tuned. Okay, we've got the cylinder head button down. Now we're just going to put the actual head on. Uh, got two new gaskets here. Make sure they are in the appropriate spots. And this one does not want to comply too well. There we go. Yeah, it's still kind of. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, put the head on. and torque that down the specs, put our washers on, torque it down the specs, and then uh, we're done. And that'll do it for uh, this part, this kind of uh, part of the series. And next we'll work on, uh, I'm not sure what we'll work on next, but the motor is pretty much done. Um, we'll probably work on maybe the power valve assembly right here, show you how that works, and then uh, I'll put the reeds back in, so maybe in the next video. So. Please feel free to post any questions or comments below, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.